all right what's going on everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about the gta 6 reveal which by the way has not happened yet it seems pretty unreal how much hype is being built around grand theft auto 6 it's probably at this point one of the most anticipated if not the most anticipated video game of all time people have been absolutely hyped up for grand theft auto 6 and hey i'm going to be honest i am absolutely one of those people i am such a rock star fan recently they've made a lot of business decisions i don't agree with but their products are absolutely s tier you know what i mean when it comes down to grand theft auto it's rare that a video game comes out that's better than it these are such polished such story rich such great environment games and grand theft auto 6 will hopefully be no exception obviously we've all seen i think at this point the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks, maybe you've seen a little bit of that gameplay that leaked and everything a few weeks back. But this is something that disappointed Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto fans alike. So yesterday was very hyped up. October 21st was being hyped up as the day that Rockstar would officially announce and reveal Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, of course, we know the game does exist because, well, we had the leaks and then Rockstar confirmed that the leaks were true and all this different stuff happened, you know, the whole fiasco. I I already made videos talking about this i don't want to spend the whole video talking about it but we do know that grand theft auto 6 does exist and it is a game that will be coming out in at least the next few years hopefully but we don't have an official time frame but fans of grand theft auto yesterday were so hyped up and that's because around the grand theft auto community there was a massive rumor going around and this rumor of course was that yesterday october 21st was gonna be the day that grand theft auto 6 officially got revealed and we were gonna to get maybe like a teaser trailer something that was gonna you know tide us over until a more official reveal comes out where rockstar maybe actually gives us like some legit gameplay and you know they were using all these different like random pieces of evidence that they had been finding online and different things that were just kind of quirky i guess that rockstar was doing that kind of made them think like oh yeah this must be what they were about to do before a big reveal was coming right well we didn't end up getting a reveal yesterday which obviously you know a lot of people were disappointed about. In fact, there was so much disappointment surrounding the lack of a reveal or a teaser yesterday that Grand Theft Auto 6 and Rockstar ended up trending on Twitter with thousands upon thousands of tweets. Now, the funniest part about this to me is I actually called this. I made a video a couple of weeks back, I think at this point where I was talking, and basically I addressed these rumors because they weren't anything new. It wasn't like yesterday all of a sudden some random Twitter account came out, right? And was like, oh, hey, today we're getting the teaser and the whole community bit, you know what I mean? And just like thought that was what was gonna happen. More or less, this had been a rumor that had been building up over a longer period of time, right? So I made a video and I predicted that this would all just be a bunch of hoopla, basically, that, you know, people were getting excited for nothing. There wasn't going to be a reveal. There wasn't going to be a trailer. There wasn't going to be a teaser. There wasn't going to be any information released on the game, right? And that ended up being correct because yesterday Rockstar was pretty much radio silent, man. They did not say anything. They didn't do anything really uh, regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 or any other project. So it turns out that that these leaks slash rumors of a reveal on October 21st were false. Now, why is this a big deal? This is a big deal because, number one, well, there's multiple things. Number one, it shows just how much hype is around Grand Theft Auto 6. Like I said, this is a game that is getting, like, ultimate levels of hype, you know what I mean? Like, at this point in time, man, people are so excited for GTA 6 they're willing to just like believe anything, you know what I mean? Like even if it comes down to just believing random rumors or whatever that we're seeing on Twitter and things like that, it's getting to the point where people are so excited to just simply play the game and like get their hands on a new Grand Theft Auto title that we're just getting excited over virtually anything. And I think that that's actually a pretty bad thing, TBH. I mean, if people are getting this excited over GTA 6 to where like we're just believing false rumors, you know, this is going to happen again, I feel like. I feel like this cycle will repeat and we'll have, you know, like a dozen more times where there's going to be a date laid out by some person on Twitter or something and everyone's going to be like, oh, this must be true because it's a, a gaming rumor or whatever, right? And the next thing you know, we're going to have people believing in this and getting all this hype up again and we're all just basically going to be set up to be disappointed. Now, another reason why this is important is because it 
shows just how much people are willing to actually fall into these traps, right? Not only just because they're excited for GTA 6, but that online misinformation in the gaming community, right? You know, I've already talked about this enough, uh, but another reason why this is important is because it shows we all need to have a little bit more patience, man. And I, I know I've been one of those people I've jumped on the leaks, I've jumped on the rumors, I've talked about these things a lot before. But when it comes down to these leaks and rumors, I feel like we need to start believing things that actually have evidence behind them. You know, like this time around when they were talking about, oh, October 21st, new GTA 6 trailer, new content coming soon, guys. Rockstar's really gonna do it this time. All that really does is sow distrust within the community, right? And that's not a good thing because if there's ever any actually like legitimate leaks or like legitimate rumors, eventually those people are just gonna be seen as like the boy who cried wolf, right? Because eventually like if there's a dozen more of these situations where people are like, oh, May 24th, we're getting the reveal. People are eventually not going to believe it when it's real, right? So obviously the best thing to do when it comes down to a situation like this is just be patient, right? I feel like that's really the best way forward with this whole GTA 6 thing. I don't really see another way forward. I mean, if we're being real, GTA 6 is not coming out anytime soon. And if it's not coming out anytime soon, there's no reason for them to reveal it or tease it or announce it or really anything, you know? Like I said in my last video talking about this, like I had multiple reasons why this wasn't going to happen October 21st. And like, I feel like these are kind of just common sense things that you can think of anytime you hear these rumors like if Grand Theft Auto 5's online mode is still making the money and selling the copies of the game that it's selling there is quite literally zero incentive for the folks over at Rockstar to just drop like a GTA 6 announcement or teaser or really anything you know what I mean at the end of the day dude like if they're still working on the game they're still working on the game we're just gonna have to wait we're gonna have to be patient and we're gonna have to see really what happens and how long it really takes for them to get this whole process done at the end of the day this is one of the biggest video games that's ever come out and when it comes out it's going to probably have so much different types of content in it it's supposed to have like this massive vice city map and everything with multiple cities like gta 5's map maybe even larger so at the end of the day man like we're probably just going to have to wait you know what i mean and it's probably going to be years and yeah sure that sucks right like if we could have grand theft auto 6 tomorrow in like its best state possible i think most if not all of us agree like yeah we would absolutely jump on board for that right like we would totally be happy for that because that would be pretty big right but at the end of the day man that's probably just not what's gonna happen right we're gonna have to wait we're gonna have to give rockstar the time they need to get this game done and me personally i'm fine waiting you know there's other video games coming out that'll hopefully tide me over that i can kind of just use to wait this out right grand theft auto 6 right now is probably the number two game i'm excited about behind call of duty modern warfare 2 which comes out in less than a week so at this point man like i'm willing to wait you know there's not many games ahead of it that i'm really waiting on i can wait a couple more years i mean we've already waited basically a decade from grand theft auto 5 to now like we might as well just wait it out a little bit more you know what i mean and just let them polish the game up let them finish the game to their standards that way we can get the best product possible because i think we would all hate it if grand theft auto 6 came out tomorrow and it wasn't the game we expected it wasn't the game that we wanted and it was just in like an unpolished unfinished state like that would upset people and it would just suck in general man because this is such a hyped up game there's so much on the line for rockstar with this game to not disappoint with so with that being said i mean we got to pay a little bit better attention to these rumors in the grand theft auto community man it's going to be multiple more situations like this that unfolds you just got to kind of wade through it man and if there's not any real proof or evidence just simply don't believe it man just don't believe all the hype don't believe a lot of the shit people tell you on here and with that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub the optimus make sure to check out Shoptimus down below thank you to my watch optimus subscribers your support helps the channel tremendously and until my next video guys this is optimus well talking about that gta 6 reveal we didn't get and signing out